Welcome to part four of Riftline and the final leg of the race. And we find the racers in Ponyville. And as Monica Kahneman observes, speed said ha has more than just winning on his mind. Flourishai takes notice to this and wonders if he's more passive ag aggressive than her. Meanwhile, Charlie and Alistor are still asleep in the trunk. And as they go flying over two billboards bearing the tiles. And a rather confused derpy. We soon see that Mon has escaped Normally a fox's custody. She's so upset about this that she calls for backup. Meanwhile, Flourishai Thinks there's a chance that it may and catch up with him again. And so Speed Scent calls in a favor from Discord. So, you know how comedians would dress in drag or a laugh? Well, let me introduce you to Trix Chord. Who acts as Speed sends sign in the sky and tells him that sure enough Imp has returned to the race and is closely followed by by Carmelia a Fox. And thus, Speed Santa has to call in another favor from Shade and Marina
or rather Racer S and Racer M. They use their sonic and high frequency echolocation to throw both Imp and Carmelie off the track. It is then to add insult to injury that Carmelie gets some news from headquarters that the APB have been cancelled. Soon enough, Speed Scent reaches the finish line and wins the race. And so he gets to do what he had been waiting to do the whole time. But that's not all for Imp. They now have to... live... in Riftopia... by his rules. Thus, Impsay becomes part of the rift, giving Silver Coma some new neighbors, and Luna and Susie decide to spend the night with Silver Scent and Retzko. before returning to Woolly Town, USA. And finally, Manga Common closes up this chapter with his famous catchphrase, Examine Your Fandom. That may be the end of the main story, but there's still a lot more, so stay tuned for the epilogue. Or tune in next time for the epilogue, I mean. You know what I mean. See ya.